Hi everyone. Today let's talk about time series data. Time series data is used so often. Almost any data contains time value in it can be treated as time series data. One of the biggest benefit working with columns is we make analyzing time series data and also forecasting future based on the timeline valuably simple. Let's take a look, look at the demo to see how simple it is using five, six clicks to get the nice view of the future. Here is a timeline data, uh, very, very simple CSV hosted in GitHub, um, date and the number of uh, passengers value. Let's copy this link and uh, get started on columns. First, Let's build a new connection, data connection. This connection is based on HTTP URL. We just copy it from GitHub and just fetch the URL content. It's CSV data. Everything looks good. Submit it. Uh, columns detect your data and figure out what kind of columns can be used as time value. For this case, it's DS, which is with data format, year, month, date. Go ahead and click it and it will set uh, the time column for this data set. If, uh, if some, of the thing, uh, some of the time not get detected, you can manually set it by yourself. So let's go ahead to uh, import this data set. Once the data is imported, columns will generate recommendations as a template for you. For instance, this data set it can just generate timeline of uh, sum of y, which basically means uh, total number of passengers um, in the timeline. So without uh, you know knowing any uh, an analytics, I mean you can just basically by clicks to get the wheel. The wheel is a timeline, as you can see, and uh, the matrix is basically sum of y. In this case, is actually total number of uh, uh, passengers. Let's go ahead to change it. Total number of passengers. And I may like a little bit dark color, like dark blue. Um, this is a sum of the value, which I think it, it makes sense, number, total number. So let's look at the units and dimension. As you can see, this is a timeline, so this is very special. It's, it's a timeline as our um, you know, distributed key uh, in, in X cell. So if you open the settings for timeline, it actually has a, a few interesting properties. One is time window. This is like the granularity, how you want to see the aggregation where view. For all case, we want to see the monster view. You can go ahead to click 30 day or 90 days, seven days weekly. Uh, in this case, you can see forecast is available for sir, for monthly view. So by default, is uh, is no forecasting as you can see in the graph, nothing. But if you go to select any uh, value for that, let's say thirty percent uh, data points of total, you know the history data, as you can see, our future is showing up now uh, in a different way, definitely. So you can differentiate sort of for you to tell when the forecasting is started. It's pretty aligned with with uh, with with the trend, so I think uh, I can think I can think of is is good prediction, is good forecasting, um, and also you can see the time range is very easy to to adjust. Assuming everything's good, um, I uh, I get everything uh, set in correctly using auto title to generate the title automatically, or you can modify it by yourself manually. I want to save this and share with my 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 audience, so I say forecast future passengers. The things I need to do is just a share. Save it, sorry. And I go back to my workspace. I can see this is what I just got just by a few clicks. And now I can share it. I can share with a specific you know, email to invite a few people to come to see this, or I can just make it public. Once I make it public, I can get a public link. I can embed it or, or socialize with people. This is the forecasting within a few minutes. I hope you like this demo. This is really uh, convenient to analyze time series data.